Hello Sagittarius viewers. I'm going to pull some cards and see what the current energy is. So this could be an ex, this could be a new person that's coming in. It's I'm completely unbiased. It's just whatever the cards want to say. Whatever is currently going on in your energy field, whoever's currently connected to you. So let's see what they want to say. I look at your pictures often. I've been fantasizing about you sexually. Okay, so someone's looking at your pictures. This could be a picture that you guys took together. Um, this could be pictures of you on social media. Maybe you've been dressing cute lately and they're noticing it, but someone's, there's some kind of aesthetic here where it's like someone's looking at your pictures and someone's, you know, possibly getting off on your pictures. Um, I regret letting you go. I never should have left. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. I love you. I've grown up. I'm ready for commitment. I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. There's so much I want to say to you. I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. I'm going through a rebirthing process, a psychic awakening, and I want to be open, honest, and vulnerable with you. I want to tell you my secrets. But you come off as uninterested and detached. And I lied my, to myself, and I tried to convince myself it was best for us to go our separate ways. I'm romantic and emotional. But you, I hide it well usually, but you bring out my softer side. Part of me wants to just come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere I know you'd be. I often think about the last night that we saw each other and you hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. So yeah, this is someone who's daydreaming about you right now, someone who's fantasizing about you, someone who's really missing you, someone who's in a very nostalgic energy um, thinking about the last time you guys saw each other and they're just they're not sure where you're at They're not sure if they have a clear opening. Maybe it's been a while since you guys have talked So they're not sure how you feel. They're not sure if you're still open to this connection, but they'd want to come knock on your door They so this person probably either knows where you live or maybe they um Like know where you hang out like where you work or they have like some like maybe you like go to like the farmer's market or the flea market on certain days or you have like a, um, I don't know what I'm hearing, like gift shop for someone, like a gift shop you go to. I don't know what that means, but um, maybe it's like a, like a festival that, you, you're, that you're planning on going to or just somewhere that like they, maybe they, they have this like awareness that you're going to be somewhere in the near future and they, they just want to bump into you. They want to talk in person, I feel, because they... They want to tell you that they've grown up, that they really do want this commitment, um, that they do want to be there for you. They do want to be supportive of you, but I feel like they're afraid of what you're going to say. So they're thinking that if they could only bump into you in person, like maybe they could, they could feel it out. They could, they could see that look on your face. They could, you know, maybe this person is very intuitive. Maybe they study psychology a little bit, or they just know a lot about psychology. Like they can read people very well. So maybe they're, they're just thinking if they could just see you in person, they could, kind of get an idea of how you're feeling about this, about all of this. Let's see what else the cards want to say. Hidden truth. Third party distraction, confusion, uncertainty, waiting, hoping, praying. And if if um, if this is resonating and you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. But like I said, you can just, just look in the description box below the video and you can just copy and paste it. Um, any donations are appreciated and please subscribe if it resonates and I just want to say for those of you that are new to my channel 
Um, this energy for this energy group that I've been channeling, I've been channeling someone that's um, either you or your person. You know, for most of you, it's your person has you know had these commitment issues, but they're not a bad person. They're just they've just been through a lot. Like like they have a lot of childhood wounds that they didn't fully heal. They maybe had some bad relationships, but this person does have a big a big heart. Like I don't feel like this person is shallow. I feel like this person does have a lot of emotional depth. I do feel like they have uh, emotional intelligence. Like they're very empathetic. They care about people. They they want to make a difference in the world. So like your person is a good person. I really do feel like because most of the time, like if I pick up commitment issues, I'm just like nah, screw that. But like with this energy group of Sagittarius's, like what I've been picking up the past, like I'd say like you know at least seven eight months, maybe longer now. Um, you know, going through this this story with them where, you know, your person has been uh, up and down the past year. You know, they've they've gone through a psychic awakening. They went through a dark night of the soul. They went through a, a psychic awakening. They've, um, they really have changed if this is your story. It's like they, they, um, they were just, they were running for so long. They were trying to find themselves. It's like they might have gone from job to job, relationship to relationship, maybe changing locations. It's like they were just like something was missing. And it's like they they finally stopped and decided to finally like face their wounds, to face their fears, to confront themselves. And they, you know, accepted that they do want a family. They are family oriented. Like this person actually as scared as they were, like they actually are a very family oriented person. They actually do want like marriage and commitment and all those things, even though they might not have expressed that. I feel like it's something that they wanted, but they felt like their lifestyle with their lifestyle, maybe they just couldn't have that, or maybe it would just they would never find the right person. It's like this person was very pessimistic in the past, but now it's like they've embraced that side of themselves. They embrace that they are a family oriented person. They've stopped running. So, you know, over the past year or so, we've been channeling. Um, them going through this healing process this this phase and some of them I feel like during the retrograde they got stressed out and went on dark on a darker path like they kind of just said screw everything and gave up but I do feel like they're going to come back around I feel like they're just going through some stuff right now um with the current energy though it does look like there's a hidden truth coming out so it's got hidden truth third party distraction karmic partner Confusion, uncertainty, waiting, hoping, praying. For some of you, I feel like your person is going to find out that you're talking to someone else. Um, for others, I feel like it, when your person might have started talking to an ex again when they got stressed out, but I don't think it's going to last. I think it's just like they're confused right now. Um, someone's waiting for this connection to come back around. Let's see what else is going on apology regret I do feel your person really wanting to apologize to you I feel like they it's almost like eight of swords energy where it's like they cause their own sadness they cause their own heartbreak and I feel like they're aware of the pain that they caused you as well like they I think that they at the time I think they were they pretended like they weren't aware of that pain because I think that they felt a lot of guilt and they just didn't know how to address it because they didn't know who they were either. They were still trying to find themselves. They were still trying to figure out their life. Like they might've been thinking, like trying to figure out where they want to live, um, what career they want to pursue, uh, you know, maybe cutting out some toxic people in their life. They just had a lot that they were, a lot of transitions that they were going through. They had a lot on their plate and it was kind of like the right person but the wrong timing so I feel like they sabotaged it and they know that they caused you sadness but at the time they just had so much going on they didn't know how to handle it they didn't know what to say they didn't know what to do about it they were kind of overwhelmed and they just shut down and they're realizing that was a mistake that they should have figured out they should have made space in their life for this they should have figured this out they shouldn't have just you know strung you along when they weren't ready so now they're choosing their words wisely. They're planning their approach, trying to figure out what to say, trying to figure out how to apologize. I do feel like this is this does sound like the person that, I mean, you know, use your own intuition because when I read the cards, this could be a family member for you. It's, it's you know, this is your story, but like, you know, intuitively interpret it, how it resonates with you. 
but I just feel like for a lot of you, I feel like this is the person we've been channeling over the past, you know, I don't know how long it's been, seven, eight months, maybe almost a year now. And then we've been channeling this energy going through through um, their healing process with them, you know, why they are the way they are, like what, why they have these deep rooted commitment issues, what they've been doing to heal these issues and face themselves. Like they're kind of going on this journey with them and, and just, I've been, you know, channeling their energy and letting you know what's going on with them. But, but yeah, it does, it does feel like they're dealing with some guilt now. It's like they've, I think that they shut themselves out for so long. Like they just, they were so overwhelmed because they, they maybe had some underlying insecurities that they did not want to face. Like they didn't know who they were, or what they wanted. And they were just trying to find themselves and trying to figure their life out. And so, you know, and also there's that fear, like the commitment issues, the fear of getting hurt, the fear of this or that, and like them just kind of running. And I feel like when they stopped running, it's like everything kind of came uh, caving in on them. I think that there were times when it's like they just, it's like they found themselves. It's like, it's, it's like this beautiful breakdown process. So it's like they did find themselves, but they also felt a lot of guilt because in the past they would try to pretend like they just had it all figured out. Like they, they knew, they you know, they, they knew what they pretended, like they knew who they were and what they wanted. But I think intuitively you knew that they did not have it together as much as they were pretending they did. Like they were not as happy as they were trying to pretend that they were. Um, they just really, they, they try to put on a front and it worked with everyone but you. And I think that's one thing that actually made them angry is because you saw through them, like everyone else was like, oh, like this person's doing so well. Like they're, you know, he or she is like, you know, joining the military or moving to a new location or buying a house or doing this. And, but like you saw through it, you're like, yeah, they're doing that because they're trying to fill a void, but they're not actually genuinely happy. And they're running from love. Like you knew that you knew what was really up behind the scenes and other people couldn't see them. Other people didn't understand them like you did. And that scared them. Like it excited them, but it scared them at the same time because it was such a, a, a deep emotional level of vulnerability for them. But anyway, I feel like now that they've gone through this healing process and they've really, you know, kind of faced themselves and acknowledged you know, what they want out of life. They've, they've embraced the fact that they are a family oriented person. They've stopped running from themselves finally. And there's, you know, they've done a lot of healing the past year. There's still a ways to go, but they've, they've done a lot. They've come really far. And I think that, that the guilt is really coming in strong right now, just because, you know, in the, before they would shut it out, they would pretend like they had everything under control. Like they were happy, they were good. And sometimes they almost believed their own lies. Like they almost, it's like they put on this facade and they, they put so much energy into convincing society and, and family and friends and whoever else that, that they were happy and that they had everything under control that, you know, sometimes it's like they almost tricked themselves into thinking like everything was good, but like deep down they knew that there was something missing, that they weren't fully happy. And I just feel like now they, they have this guilt because they're, they're letting themselves be vulnerable and emotional and um, their psychic abilities are, are stronger than ever. Like they finally embraced their psychic side where in the past it might have scared them or maybe they didn't understand it. Maybe they weren't familiar with, with psychic energy, but now it's like they're seeing synchronicities and they're, I think that most of them are actually aware that it is synchronicity. Like they're not... Um, maybe you taught them about that or maybe someone like in your friend group taught them about like psychic work and stuff and it's like they're open-minded to that now but when before they weren't but I just but yeah anyway sorry sometimes when I channel I start rambling <laughs> but what I was saying is there's a lot of guilt so I just I, I get the sense that like because before you know they were hiding who they were they they weren't acknowledging their true selves and now they're being vulnerable they're being open they're being they're psychic they're intuitive they're they're letting things flow. It's like they've been broken open. So there's there's um, the sense of guilt too because they you know they're feeling all the pain that they suppressed, all the things that they suppressed before, and part of the pain that they suppressed before was yours. Was you know that they hurt you, that they um, led you on, or they confused you, or they caused you know drama in your life, or whatever it might have been. That they did not show you who they really were. They showed you the worst side of themselves, and they caused you heartbreak. And they're feeling that energy now. They're feeling that regret and that pain that they did this to you. And they're wanting to plan their approach. And they're probably watching you because we did get 
you know, that they're watching you on and looking at your pictures and possibly getting off to your pictures, like I said, publicity social media card here too, confirms that. They are feeling alone, isolated, new love, reconciliation. So you have, I feel like I got this before. I think like, yeah, I think a couple weeks ago when I did your readings, I was like, it's time to go out and meet new people because for some of you, you might just be done with this cycle with this person. But you have two potential life, I feel like there's there's two potential life partners here. You have, you're ending cycles, you're ending patterns, karmic cycles, uh, you're having this breakthrough freedom. I feel a couple mes different messages here for you guys. And, and I want you to use your own intuition for this because there's two stories here. Um, and if this is time to wrap this up with this person, you know, like you'll know that this is that this is that version of the story. So for some, this person does want to reconcile, but you're ready to move on. You're ready to end this pattern or cycle. And maybe it was a karmic cycle where you did need to go through it as long as you went through it. Like, as, you know, maybe it dragged on for a while, but maybe it's like you've it's like divine timing. Now your, your new love is ready to come in. Like this faded encounter is ready to come in. It's just time to go out and meet new people. Um, and you're gonna have this breakthrough and this freedom. But like I said, use your intuition because if this is, if that's, if this version of these three cards is, is that, if that's for you, you're gonna know, like you're gonna be feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm done with this, you know, roller coaster. I'm done with the up and down. Like, I hope they do well, but I'm ready to move on. For others, I feel like you're actually feeling this person's desire to apologize to you and you're on board with it. You're not, cause like there's, okay, like I said, two different groups here. One of, some of you are feeling the, the desire to apologize, but you're like, no, I think I'm done. I want a new start. I want a breakthrough. I hope I help this person. I hope that they learn something from me. I learned something from them, but I do not want to reconcile. I want new love instead. Others are feeling this apology and regret, but you're like open to it. Like you're on board with it. You're like, you're maybe your heart chakra is opening. Like you're feeling all this good energy. Like it's time for love. Like you're, you're just feeling it. And so the end of a pattern or cycle is not the end of this connection, but the end of, um, you know, them ending a cycle, them having this breakthrough and this freedom. You know, we see the birds here that might be birds might be significant for you guys too you know, having this breakthrough and, you know, reconciling with you, like finally being on the same page. It's like, it was like the right person, but the wrong timing. And so this is not a new person, but this is them renewing their love They're, They've become a new person and they might just be coming back for you. So, but like I said, two different, you, and you know, I think intuitively that you know, which one that you are, you're either ending the cycle with this person and they want to re reconcile and they want to apologize, but you're done and you want to manifest new love now. So you're the one ending the cycle or your person wants to, or your person is the one ending the cycle because they want to reconcile and they're going to come back to you a new person. They're going to come back like, like just, you know, in this new energy. I hope that makes sense. Um, if, if you guys need clarification, just let me know. I know sometimes when I channel, I start rambling and I, I'm sure it can probably get a little confusing. Um, also, if you want a private reading, like I said, my email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated and please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks for watching.